was asked to uh, sew some uh, clothing for this little girl. This is a Obitsu 11 centimeter body. Um, and I'm going to try to sew a little dress for her uh, and show you how I do on the way. Um, first of all, I took one of my patterns for uh, Lori. And I actually reduced it so it's a little more than four centimeters in this uh, place here. It's actually four and a half and it's a little too big, I think, but four and a half is okay. Um, and I will link uh, to the pattern I used and um, try to resize it for you so you don't have to do that. First of all, I am having a piece of fabric here. And uh, this is a uh, no fray fabric, so I don't have to be afraid of it uh, fraying when I'm done here. How to do this? I'm going to cut one of these out. So I'm just going to pin my pattern here just to make sure I. Uh, that it doesn't slip while, uh, but while uh, cutting it out. And I'm not going to cut out this inside circle. I'm just going to cut around for the uh, start. So I have this pattern cut out and I have this still in place. I'm going to take another piece of fabric. And I'm going to place it here on top of it, this one. And I'm going to make sure I have this pinched in as well. Just going to do that like that. So I'm going to sew up here, put this down, make sure I sew around here, and then sew down at the edge here. I'm going to use back stitching for sewing this piece. So I'm going to sew up from here to up here with our back stitching. So I got down here where I need to pull this up and sew down this line. Um, and I'm just gonna do that and then I will be back. I made my sewing and now I'm going to cut off uh, the excess here around. So it looks like this. See if I can show you like that. 
So I have sewn all the way around and I have this edge here. And I'm just going to make some uh, small indent here. And make sure you're not cutting into your sewing thread. So I have a lot of these uh, small tabs here around the neckline. And I did not cut into my uh, thread right there. Now I'm going to uh, turn it around. Put it all nice and uh, tight down here. So the good side is where we have the pattern. You see that right here. And this is the uh, extra uh, clay for the back side, making this little gap really nice and looking good. So I am going to take my thread and I'm going to make a back stitch all the way down here around the neckline and down the other side. And I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to make my thread here start in one corner, make a back stitch from this corner all the way up around the neckline and all the way down over here and then I will be back again. I sewed along the edge all the way around and now I am going to uh, take the back piece here and find my scissor. So I have the good side or my pad on, on top here and the extra piece on um, under. So first I'm just going to cut so the bottom here is free. This way I can uh, make sure my thread won't uh, go up when I cut it off. So I am going to uh, turn this around. So I have the extra fabric lying down here and I'm going to cut that off without cutting in the uh, good layer uh, behind. So I have my piece here. So I have this extra piece of fabric here on the inside. And as this is non-fray fabric, this is no big deal. So my piece looks like this right now. These are the arms. Um, and I'm going to uh, carefully uh, bend that back. Okay, let's see if I can show you better. So I'm starting here at the corner of the arms, arm, what do you call that? And bending it back just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to use my needles to keep it, keep it down. So I made this tiny, tiny bend on the back side. And I am going to sew from the good side. I'm going to sew from this corner to this corner all the way around here. And I'm going to do that on both of these arms. Uh, and that is uh, a quite tricky job. So be careful and do it carefully and uh, take your time with it. I will do that and then I will be back. So I have sewn uh, the sleeve pieces here around so they are nice and even and I'm going to fold this in two and then I'm going to sew these two sides here under the sleeves and I'm going to do that on the bad side so that I have the good side turned inside. So the top part here of the dress is um, almost done. I need some kind of uh, velcro or something to lock the back side here. So I am going to uh, put this double. Uh, and double again. And I'm going to take a pin, putting that up here. So I can decide on the length of the dress right now. I'm going to put it a little over the top of this because uh, I wanted to have some seam allowance. And then I'm deciding for, am I going to make it a hole? Yeah, I am. So I'm going to cut it right here. Then I have this big lace I like, and I'm going to take that and place it here on the fabric I have for the dress. And I'm going to cut it. So it fits just 
uh, pin it down a few places here and there. So I'm taking uh, this and a piece of thread and I'm just going to go through both layers and up again. And I'm going to do that all the way down here. Let's see. I got it. There we go. And pull, 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 pull. So I have this thread through the top of the fabric. Okay, and I'm going to measure here along the top. nine centimeters. So I'm going to pull this together so that it fits uh, the nine centimeters. It's not always that easy. So that'll be right there. And then I'm going to place the good side to the good side and sew it on there. Uh, so through all three layers. This is quite a handful to do. Let's see if I can show you a tiny bit better. So it should have the right uh, size right now. See if I can get it here in my hand. So I'm going to place it here on the top part. And it's a bit tricky because of the size of this. But something like this and then I'm going to sew carefully along here so all three layers are joined together. And when I'm done with that, I will be back. I sewed all the way along right here. And now I'm going to tear and pull out this uh, thing I used to make the pleats in the fabric. Like that. So I have the dress looks like this right now. I'm going to place it together right here. And then just sew all the way down there. So I have all four layers right here and I'm just going to sew all the way down there from up here. So these two are open, but from here and down they are not. So I'm going to sew down all the way here and I'm going to do that and then I will be back. I sewed this seam together and did not do it up here. So now I can turn it around and there is my little dress almost done. I'm going to fold in this uh, dark purple uh, fabric at the bottom here and I'm going to make a back stitch all the way around the dress. So <clears throat> I sewed the ends here nice and tight. And then I sewed in one of those uh, snap locks right here in the neck. So I'm just going to take my little girl here and um, rip her arms off because that's easier. Sorry to everyone. So I'm just giving her on the little dress here. And I think this little dress turned out really, 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 really cute. Um, even though that this part up here could have been a tad minor with no big deal. But actually I kind of uh, love the way it looks. And if you make your own, I would really love to see the result of it. So uh, you could post that on my Facebook or tag me on Instagram. So that's all there is to this little craft and happy crafting. <music>